I've kind of had that realization that um, what is perfectionism? Maybe it's a lack of knowledge. Oh. Knowledge is limited by awareness. The only way to grow knowledge is to expand the awareness to then understand, oh, now that I have that awareness, then I can gain more knowledge. Well, if you're already at perfect, then in essence, you're in a lack of knowledge. Yes. Now, as soon as you said the why put that pressure on yourself, mm. why create that pressure? You know, we, I definitely heard, well, pressure creates diamonds. <laughs> and so that pressure is actually perfect in its own right. What would you say to that? Oh, that's a really good one. There, I would say that's great, but I'm not sure that diamonds are relative to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't see how that has anything to do with it. Like, it's a great saying, but you know. But I want to be the diamond, right? So the pressure is going to make me the diamond. Right. But diamonds are also, this world is replete with diamonds. And so what is the benefit of being something that is around and that everyone can have? Where's the uh, special edition of that? Yeah. You know, and so, you know, and hey, to each his own. If someone wants to be a diamond, that's that's great. You know, but it's... Uh, it's based on industry that restricts its flow in order to create a, a false demand. And so that's, is that, is that a perfect situation? I don't think so. I think that's kind of fraudulent. Yeah. And so, you know, pressure is great. I mean, maybe that's something you can seek to understand, but Pressure also creates cracks and foundations. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's right. a, it's a great way to put it. So we can say pressure creates diamonds, mm -hmm. of course, but pressure can also crack you and break you down. Yes. And that's, I feel, where we need to start looking and saying, what is this undue pressure doing to me? Mm. Is it creating stress unnecessarily? as I move towards someone else's ideal of perfection? No. Is it cracking my foundation? Mm -hmm. Or is it truly, if you want to be a diamond, is it truly adding to you in a way that will help you shine brighter? Because sometimes there is pressure that helps you step forward, but it's the lack of knowing, the lack of mindful awareness, as you were talking about that awareness, that will help you say, hey, this pressure is actually helping me or this pressure is breaking me, Yeah. right? And if I'm doing it based on somebody's ideal of what something is, most of the time it's going to create cracks in our foundation because we're going to be attempting to build ourselves according to their foundation. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. I think it's so good. Um, and there's so many of those kind of sayings, you know, like early bird gets the worm, but then you can follow up with second mouse gets the cheese, uh -huh. you know? And so it's not, there's, there's all these ideologies that we kind of stick ourselves into. Yes. And I think you're spot on with asking the question. I think that's, that's way more important to I me. Mean, that's, that's back to collaboration versus one way. If we're just stuck in one thought, one, one approach, one result, you know, that's going to inherently limit us. When we start to ask questions, then through questions, we can expand our awareness. By expanding our awareness, then we can gain more knowledge. By gaining more knowledge, then we can grow. And if that's really, that to me is in the essence of what the universe is doing in that sense. And we're doing it through multiple perspectives. And so to limit the, not only the human collective perspective by placing a illusion of perfection, which I think is a huge mistake, you know, applying that to the universe just makes the universe so small yes. and so little. And, and that's, there's, what's the fun in that? But you can control small. <laughs> yeah. And if that is what is driving 
my behavior, I'll turn it inward. If my behavior is to make something smaller so that I can feel bigger mm. and I can direct or control it instead of experiencing it as it is, then that's again where I have to ask myself, who's driving my bus right now? Is it my ego? Is it my inner critic? Or is it my true soul and my soul's desire to constantly evolve? Yeah, that's really good. Where's the pressure coming from? Is it because someone's stepping on you? Uh-huh. I mean, it's still pressure. Is it self-created? And if yeah. so, how's that helping you? Mm -hmm.